welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an online reseller on sites like eBay and Poshmark. And today I have a what sold for this weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and I've only done one other what sold video. I always forget. I'm busy packing up packages and I just, it takes some time to do a what sold video, at least for me. I'm not that great of an editor, but anyway, I'm going to try to do them more often. If not like what sold for the week, um, I can do like the weekend. That'd be much easier for me. But anyway, if you like videos like this, please subscribe down below and I'm going to get into what I sold um, across eBay, Poshmark, and I had one tradesy sale. Um, so I'm gonna start off with eBay. And the first sale is this uh, Rachel Zoe white cardigan. I bought this at the TJ Maxx yellow tag sale. I believe I paid $5 for it maybe seven i don't know but definitely not over seven dollars i sold it for 35 dollars. i accepted a best offer and this was with free shipping next is this uh newest tag gap like athletic long sleeve shirt and it had a hoodie i sold it for 25 dollars with free shipping this is a lisa todd sweater um i accepted a best offer of 40 dollars with free shipping Next is this pair of J-Brand pants. I've had them for quite a while. J-Brand is just a jeans brand that is very expensive retail, but just doesn't have a great resale value. Um, so I accepted a best offer of $25 with free shipping and they were a pretty light pair. So they were able to go first class. Um, this is a pair of AG Farrah jeans and they sold very quickly. I just um, thrifted these in Atlanta. So whenever I post my big Atlanta haul this week, you'll see those. Um, but they sold for $31.99. And then this We The Free blue like burnout style button down shirt. I've had it for quite a while, so I just wanted to move it. Um, I sold it for $18. Um, this Adidas a cropped sweatshirt was really cute. Um, I ended up selling it for $28.66. And then this Cupcakes and Cashmere is a really pretty, like, um, blush pink color. I really liked it. Um, but I accepted a best offer of $20 for that. And then this St. James shirt, um, Sold really quick. I accepted a best offer of $35 for that. And then this is a Lily Pulitzer top and this sold for $31.99. And then these cool pants sold for $39.99 plus $3.99 shipping. And then these, uh, I was excited about this sale. Um, these uh, new attack Lululemon men's uh, commuter shorts sold for $79.99 plus $3.99 shipping. And then this mauve uh, free people top sold for $18. I'd had that one again for a very long time. I'm going to be so picky now when I'm picking up uh, free people. I do sell a lot of it. Like I, I sell a lot of free people items, but um, I just need to stop picking up every free people piece that I see. Like if it has pretty embroidery or something, I'm going to pick it up. But if it's just plain item, I'm going to probably leave them behind. Uh, then this pair of T Alexander wing pants sold. Um, I did an auction and these sold for $29.99 plus $4.99 shipping. And the reason why I've been running a lot of auct auctions is that, um, it does bring more traffic to your eBay store, but I'm, I'm a premium store um, member and um, I have like 1,600 or more listings. And so when they renew every month, I'm using up all of my free listings and um, I run out. So when I run out, I move to the auctions. And when I run out of the auctions, then I have to start paying for the listings, but it's not enough to where to warrant me to do that jump. 
to the anchor store. They need to have like an in-between level, I think, and I would definitely um, raise my store up another tier. But anyway, um, so that's what the auction items are from. It's because I ran out of fixed price listings. Um, but next is this Prana top. It sold for $9.99 plus $4.99 shipping. And this Ralph Lauren men's shirt sold for $9.99 with $4.99 shipping. And this Vince Camuto dress. It was new with tags and it was very nice, but I had had it for so long. Um, I'm just glad that it sold. It sold for $14.99 plus $4.99 shipping. And then this, um, this, these pairs of, um, new with tag seven for all mankind jeans sold for $55. And then now we're moving over. That was everything that sold on eBay. And now we're moving over to Poshmark. Um, I only had two sales this weekend, but they were pretty good ones. Um, is this new tag Kate Spade top and it sold for $50. And then this, um, these pair of Spanx leggings, I got several offers on these and they were pretty low. And then I had somebody that sent me all these questions and I was like, oh my gosh, please don't buy these. Um, but then by the time I could answer her question, somebody bought these, they paid $70. So I was very pleased with that. Um, and then over on Trade Z, I made one sale out of nowhere. Trade Z is so slow for me. I think it's because I do neglect it. I need to research more into how Trade Z's um, algorithm works. If I need to list on their cross list over there every day, I will do it. Um, but yeah, I should probably try and like do a month of listing over there consistently and see what happens. But um, anyway, those are all of my sales from the weekend. Um, it was a gross total of $660.58. Um, then you take away the shipping and fees that left me with $551.49. Um, um, that is everything that sold for this weekend. I hope all of you had great sales. Um, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, um, and I will see you next time. Bye. And we're done packing up, ready to go to the post office.